So this is going to be a follow-up video of my over-sexualization in One Piece video, which if you're a fan of One Piece as well, I would recommend checking out. But as you can see by the title, today we'll be talking about over-sexualization in Naruto, or the lack of it. Being a shonen, Naruto does have things like characters with really big boobies. I mean, Lunades are stated by Jiraiya, who is a very reliable source in the manga to be 106 centimeters. So yeah, there are characters with big boobs. Lunades' boobs are pretty exposed. Um, Hinata is, has really big boobs. But you look, the characters are never focused on them heavily. Every once in a while, maybe while Lunades in her office doing work, You'll get a shot of her boobs, but mainly Lunate and like Hinata are just there being characters. And I feel this is what makes Naruto great. None of the characters are over sexualized, especially the heroine, Sakura Haruno. I mean, just look at the contrast between Nami and Sakura. Now, it had nothing to do with character. I prefer Nami. Nami's a better character. No argument there. But, but it is clear as day that Nami is over-sexualized by Oda tremendously and really only there sometimes for the audience to look at, which is really annoying. Okay, Sakura may be useless, strong, whatever, I don't care what your opinion is, but you can never say there was a time where Sakura is only on screen to be visually pleasing and sexually attractive. There was, that never happened. I mean, Sakura is there, she's always contributing in some kind of way, even if it's in a way that's getting, even if her role is to get in the way of the main character and be, even if her role is to be useless, I guess you could say, she's still doing something besides standing there and looking good. She is a character, and I think this is one thing Naruto does exceptionally. Sakura never once. I can probably think of one scene where Sakura was kind of sexualized, one bathhouse scene in the whole manga. And even then, you didn't, I don't think, I don't think, in, I don't know about the manga, but I don't think you even saw her boobs in the anime. I think they were hidden by the water. And from what I remember, it was just really one scene of her trying to hide herself underwater because Naruto was embarrassing her when he kept screaming about his penis. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why the fan backlash to Serata's new design in Boruto, which I did a video about, uh, I'll link that somewhere on screen, is so strong. That's the main reason, because Naruto is not known for this. People never go to Naruto for sexual fan service. People go to Naruto for fan service. Oh yes, they do. But the only type of time you'll really get it is Naruto Sexy just do, and one or two Lunate scenes every once in a while. Besides for that, I can't think of any instinct where there was sexualization in Naruto. And I think that was something uh, that Naruto gets a lot of credit for. I mean, people make jokes about Sakura, but let's be honest. Like, I think all the Naruto fan bases that is somewhere in them grateful. We never have, like, you know, Naruto and Sasuke fighting an opponent and then Kishimoto cutting a chakra to throw off her tits. I feel like we're, like, in, so we're very happy about that on our own level, like on some level that we, we don't, we don't really notice it, but I feel like we are, because they, people get complained about that in One Piece, Bleach, and Fairy Tale all the time, like just cutting from something to go to a scene about a character boobs, and we're like, no, we want to see the epic fight, like if I want to see boobs, I can go, I can go and watch porn. <laughs> like, I don't need to see porn, to see boobs in my action shonen manga. They're, that's what porn is for. I like Kijimoto gets that. He's like, if a guy wants to see boobs, there are other places he can see them besides the manga he's reading. He doesn't need to see boobs in Naruto. Like, I, I don't need to see boobs in Naruto. And I think that's what's great about Kishimoto writing. And I think that's why the Serata design had gotten so much flack, as I said earlier, because, well, one, because Serata 12, which just makes it disturbing, but even then, I've got to see a couple posts on Reddit, but by the way, the Naruto Reddit isn't that bad, you should check it out one day. No, but, uh, 
I've seen a couple people on the Naruto Reddit complain about it, stating that, like, you know, this is something you would see in One Piece. And I, and they all claim I love One Piece, but let's be honest, the sexualization in One Piece is, is ridiculous. It's way too much fan service. The boobs are too big, the, ca the female characters are too skinny, it's, just, it's not even, it's just annoying at this point. And I agree with that. And it's, it's very upsetting that in Boruto, the character are being sexualized. So let's be, okay, let's all be honest for a minute here. He try. I think it's almost like he's trying to sexualize them. Because his female characters are so ugly. He's like, maybe if they don't wear any clothes, it will, like, people will like them more. I'm like, like, looking at them more. I'm like, no, I still, like, actually get angry whenever I see your Hinata, whose head is shaped like an apple, and it's like, could, like, fit into my hand. It's like, it's really weird. Like, why are their heads so small? I mean, honestly, I can't really blame the guy to an extent. But Serana thing is creepy. And I actually have a whole video I'm going to be doing on Serana in general. And why I'm actually going to probably be dropping the Boruto manga. But the point is, is that I kind of understand why you would want to sexualize a female character. Because they're so damn ugly. But that's still no reason to sexualize a 13 year old girl. It's weird, it's creepy, and it's not okay. And I feel like that is just where I draw the line. I'm mean, like, this is very, not even, not even Hero does thing. Hero, Hero, but why Hero hand look Renry? When, Wendy, Renry. <laughs> I, had full metal, I was watching a Full Metal Alchemist video earlier. No, but the way Hero handled Wendy, and I also haven't seen Fairy Tail in like two years, but the way Hero handled Wendy in Fairy Tail is very good. There are fan service things with her, but they're very subtle and they're small, and they're never like, oh my god, I'm physically uncomfortable to watch this. Like, I feel like I'm watching something I shouldn't be. You know, it kind of like just ignore it. Just it was like. It's only, it will only last for two pages, it can ignore it, and it will go away. And it does. But Serata thing is weird. Like, she's almost completely naked, and it's disturbing. Uh, it's literally disturbing. And I feel like that were, that's what inspired this, this series of videos. That over-sensualization in certain theories. So yeah, I feel like everything that came in between chapter 1 and chapter 700 is gold. Anime stuff, movies, OVA. Nobody was like made out to be too over sexualized. Besides maybe some filler characters. But none of the canon characters were really sexualized. And I feel like that was like, what made a lot of people really like Naruto to an extent. It took it was very mature. It it treated the readers like they were mature and not like horny thirteen year old boys. When it's like, that's the problem, that's the problem, it's like, I guess that you were like, I guess what, but, like, because the Boruto manga is targeting, like, very young teenagers, I get is the Serana thing okay, I don't know, like, it's still creepy because, like, a 30 year old man is drawing it, but they're targeting, like, 13 year old boy with the manga, so, is it okay because they're out of 13? I mean, should older fans just not be able to read it without it being okay? I know both things are different in Japan, but come on! You know what? No, I'm gonna stop. I'll talk about the Serata thing. over in Naruto was not a problem until the Boruto manga began. Even if you look at Serata Uchiha's design in anything Kishimoto drew. Naruto Gaiden or Naruto Bus 7 Tokagi in the Scarlet Spring. The month. Um, what else? Uh, in the Boruto movie in Chapter 700. Everything is very good. No sexualization at all. You only really see sexualization in the Boruto manga. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out.